This is Dan Bigman from LearnGPR.com and I'm coming at you with another uh, instructional video for the week. And what we're going to do today, and I want to do this more going forward, is compare GPR to other survey technologies, certainly other locating technologies. And today what we're going to do is compare GPR to traditional EM locating and sort of go over what the strengths and weaknesses are of each of these for utility locating. Okay, so both of these are used in utility locating, both ground penetrating radar as well as EM locators. EM locators are used, I would say, much more widely than GPR is, but GPR is certainly increasing in its popularity. But let's go over this because some people have questioned me, come up and give me questions and saying, you know, is GPR technology going to replace EM locators? GPR technology is much better than the EM locators, some people will say. Uh, and I'm not certain that I totally agree. Actually, I don't agree with, with, with that statement. I think that they both have uh, benefits and they both have drawbacks. And let's get into some of those right now. <clears throat> okay, so number one, the speed of data collection. This is something that has to be taken into consideration, especially because e, I'm sorry, because utility locating um, is really, it's a business, right? I mean, utility locating or engineering companies are typically those that go in and identify uh, buried infrastructure. And so speed of locating is a really important uh, component of your project, right? And how fast can you locate it? And with what kind of distinction can you locate it as far as, you know, what utility is what? So GPR is generally slow, where EM locating is fast. Okay? GPR data collection is slower than EM locating. However, GPR data collection is getting much faster quickly. Now with GPR, you could put um, you know, centimeter precision GPS units attached to your GPR and get locational accuracy, right? centimeter locational accuracy for all of your GPS uh, um, data points. And so being able to do that and sort of just walk around with the GPR instead of necessarily grid it out is something that's increasing the speed of GPR data collection um, so it's, it's certainly getting better, GPR data collection speeds. But EM locators are definitely faster. So two, price. What about price? Say less expensive, okay? So GPR is expensive. EM locators are much less expensive. So traditional GPR equipment, right, can go anywhere from twelve or fifteen thousand dollars up to thirty-five thousand dollars. However, EM locators, very good EM locators, might cost five to seven thousand. So they're quite uh, uh, less, they're significantly less expensive than GPR units are, uh, and that's an important thing to understand, right? So some folks don't use GPR yet for utility locating. Part of that issue might be the price, right, the cost. Now, they have been coming down, so where they were in the 20s and 30,000s, now more simplified units are being produced at $12,000, for example, which is a lot less expensive uh, than the historical pricing. And I have seen GPR come out. Some dude <laughs> built a GPR in his garage, and he's selling them for 5,000 bucks a pop. Now, I can't you know, quote the quality of that GPR, but the point is they're coming down in price. And so sooner or later, the pricing structure is going to be to the point where people want to have excuses to not use GPR. But as of right now, GPR is more expensive. Okay, number three. Um, what can GPR locate and what can EM locate? Okay, so for GPR, technically it can locate anything. Okay, technically GPR can locate anything. EM locators can only locate things that hold a current. Okay, only things that hold a current. So when I say GPR can locate anything, it's as long as that GPR can identify, right? Your pipe or utility has some sort of contrast with the soil around it, the soil that it's embedded in. As long as there's a contrast, then uh, it can locate anything. So if it's PVC, and that has different physical properties than clay soil, you can, should be able to locate the PVC. If it's fiberglass, you can locate the fiberglass. If it's clay, you can locate the clay. And to be, the truth is, if it's clay uh, pipe embedded in clay soil, 
you don't even need to locate the pipe, right? You might just be able to see the air inside the clay pipe. So you can locate anything, right, under the right circumstances with ground penetrating radar. Technically, you can locate any material as long as there's a contrast with the material that it's embedded in. But EM locators, you can only locate utilities that hold a current. So metal, fiber optic, things like that. But you can actually put a current through and track that current or trace that current uh, is what you can locate with EM locators. Uh, so that's, uh, let's see, one, two, three things. Let's see, how about four? Okay, a fourth thing. How about maneuverability, right? Where can you use GPR and where can you use EM locators? Well, GPR has low maneuverability and EM locators have high maneuverability. But again, this is changing because with GPR, you can use GPR, especially with a GPS unit, where you don't have to use a cart system, right? Cart systems tend to be less you know, maneuverable, um, and so it's tough to use a cart system in a forest, for example. But if you can just drag your antenna and it has a GPS on it that has good accuracy, you have a lot more maneuverability. But it's certainly less than EM locators. I mean, you could be in the middle of a dense forest with your EM locator and still locate a, a, a utility. Uh, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want, in the forest. you can dance in the forest with that EM locator and you can still move around those trees because it's significantly more uh, uh, mobile and, uh, uh, and the maneuverability is definitely higher with EM uh, locators. Uh, so number five, let's say, and there are many others, I'm just going to go over five, but if you're interested in more, and I'll link this up below the video, um, we did a live webinar on GPR for utility locating, we went over utility data. Uh, utility locate data both in 2D profiles and 3D. Um, we went into a more extensive list of the comparisons uh, and, and we talked about a number of other things, but I'll put that link uh, right here or you can click, I'll put a, an info card right here. Uh, and so you can click that to go check out that webinar, which is very popular. We got very good feedback on it. Um, it was for utility locating. But let's see, number five, why don't we put that, okay? So 2D and 3D visualization and usually for EM locators no visualization okay no visualization so for GPR you can view the subsurface actually you can view it in 1D and 2D and 3D you can view it right where you're standing you can view it as a profile as if you trenched into the soil and then looked at the side of that trench right so you can look at it, what that trench would look like without actually excavating that's 2D uh, and then you can do 3D, right? If you collect a bunch of profiles next to each other, a bunch of 2D profiles next to each other, you can look at that top down. And I showed some examples um, in that webinar that you can look at it top down. Uh, and in some cases, very congested areas that have uh, quite a number of utilities, you can see those very distinct when you put it into a 3D view. So 1D, 2D, and 3D. With EM locators, you generally don't get to view it. Uh, uh, in any dimensions, really, except for where you're locating. If you GPS those coordinates, then you can uh, um, put that on top of a Google Earth map and see where those were. Um, but that gets to another one. All right, fine, I'll go to number six, okay, which is accuracy. So for GPR, it's very accurate, right? And with EM locators, there's a range. So maybe it's plus minus 18 inches. With GPR, you know when you're standing directly on top of the utility. The peak of your signal is the, is the location of the utility. And so accuracy is a big benefit for ground penetrating radar over EM locators. So um, which is better or will this replace this? The answer is neither are better and no, this will not replace this. They are both two tools that should be in your uh, toolkit. EM locators are fast, they're less expensive, and they have high maneuverability, right? But they're limited to those utilities that hold the current. They don't really give you any sort of visualization, and they give you a range of accuracy. GPR, on the other hand, is a little slower, a little more expensive, and low maneuverability, but you can locate anything. You can view the subsurface in three dimensions, and it's highly accurate. So both of these have benefits and both have drawbacks. And my you know, encouragement to you is to use them uh, uh, together on as many projects as you possibly can. Because you might be able to locate 90% of the utilities on the site with this and do it rapidly and locate that one utility that doesn't hold the current a little more slowly but highly accurately. Uh, um, and so you get all of the utilities. 
So these are complementary techniques. I implore you to use them. And if you like this video, if you found something useful out of it, click the like button uh, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We put out these videos every week. Or go over to learngpr.com and, uh, and you will continue to get these videos. Put your name in and your email and get these videos in your inbox every single week. So thank you so much. I appreciate your attention. Have a great day. Happy surveying. And I'll see you on the next video.